Hey, Jeremy Wallace here, Principal Cloud Architect for Safari Micro. I'm also a Microsoft MVP and Certified Trainer. And today we're gonna to take a look at Microsoft Teams phone and the basics of how to use it and customize it for you. All right, to get started with Microsoft Teams phone, of course, we're gonna use the Microsoft Teams application on your computer. And you may be already familiar with the chat area of your Microsoft Teams, but we're gonna be spending time in the Calls tab. So before we make our first phone call, uh, of course, there may be some customizations or configuration that you may want to do. So down here is the Settings icon. We're gonna select that and go to Device Settings. Now here you wanna make sure that whatever peripherals you're using for your speaker and microphone are set. So for instance, if you're using a headset with a mic attached to it, you want to select that for both your speaker and your microphone, or if you're utilizing a separate microphone and speaker system, just select those appropriately. Then you do have the ability to let Microsoft Teams adjust your mic sensitivity automatically for you. What that will do is if you are too loud, it can quiet you down, or if you're too soft, it can increase your volume for your microphone as it deems necessary during the duration of your call. Now, I would suggest making use of this make a test call button. What that does is it will do a test call and have you uh, listen through your speakers as well as uh, I'll let you talk through your microphone. And let's just make sure that everything is configured right. So if I hit that button right now, uh, we'll get a pop-up. All right, this is a test phone call message. Hi, this is a test phone call message. So we can see here we tested out the microphone and speaker combination, our camera network, and I can close this accordingly. The next option that we see here is for noise suppression. You can have it drown out background noise and even take it one step further and isolate your voice from a room full of voices. So definitely suggest having one of those options enabled just to make your call even more clear. And then you do have configurations for video if you're doing video calls as well. Now, let's make our first phone call. So in the upper left-hand corner here, you can see our traditional dial pad. Of course, I can press numbers here to type out the phone number, of course, or I can up here just use my keyboard to put in that number. I'm going to give it a call. You can see in the call window that this gives me a few options related to the call. I can place the call on hold. I can resume it. I can select to transfer the call to somebody else. So if, for instance, I wanted to send this call to a colleague of mine, I can type in their name here, select them, and then I can choose to have it ring me back. If there's no answer, what that does is if the person I'm transferring to does not answer and it goes to their voicemail, Instead, it'll actually call me back and retransfer that person back to me. So that's an option. Uh, and then while you do have it on hold to transfer, there is hold music that plays for the person on the other end. Here we can see the people that are a part of this phone call. And you can invite additional people again by typing in their name or their phone number into the participants list here. If you have a co-pilot license, to do transcription, you may see the option for it. We're not covering that in this training. But you do have the ability to do record and transcription of your meetings. If you do a recording, it'll record the audio of the message as well as transcribe it so that you can see the words of the conversation or you can do a transcription only. In either case, it does temporarily record the audio in the case of a transcription. It's just not going to save that long term. It it needs to record it to gather what those words are. So if I hit start transcription, I can select the English words, I can hit confirm, and then you'll see the transcription pane open here. And so if it does let people know that the call is being recorded if your organization has it set up for that configuration. And if I unmute myself here, we can see that it is indeed transcribing the words that I'm saying. And if I were to mute myself there and unmute myself on my cell phone here, we can see that there's transcription from the other end as well. Now you can stop recording and transcribing at any time. Of course, I can come in and hit the stop. 
Uh, you can access your audio settings from within the call. So if you do need to play around with changing your microphone or speaker settings uh, or any of the noise suppression background stuff, you can do that directly from within the call. And then of course I have my ability to mute and unmute myself with the button that is up here. There's also a shortcut by holding control shift M on your keyboard. To end the call, I can simply hit leave. Now you don't have to use somebody's phone number to give them a call if they are within your team's organization or as a contact. So for instance, if I wanted to get a hold of my coworker, Sean Christopher, I can type in his name here and select him from the list and give him a call. Or you can search for a contact specifically, head to them and hit the call button in the upper right hand corner to make the call there. Now in the middle of this call panel, we do see history of people that, who have called me or calls that I've gone out, anything that I've missed. So you can sort that accordingly. So from missed calls, incoming calls, outgoing calls that I've made, and then voicemail. So if you need to listen to a voicemail that you've received, you can select it, and then you should have the ability to play the voicemail. There should also be a transcription of the voicemail inside the window here. Now you can delete these voicemails. You can select to call them back. You can mark it as unread. You can even add people as a speed dial. So in this upper right hand corner, you have the toggle button for speed dial. If you want to select somebody that you frequently call and add them here, you can select this add to speed dial icon, type in that person's name. They should pop up. Or if there's a phone number that you're adding directly, that then they're not listed as a contact. You can enter in that phone number here, and then you can select add. Now, if you need to set up your voicemail, you can go back to device settings and go to calls, and you can select whether or forward calls. You can see that shortcut down here as well. If you need to do call forwarding, don't forward the voicemail or more settings. And then you can choose what happens as calls come in. Again, whether if you're forwarding a call out to somebody else, if you're having specific greetings, you can select the behavior around your calls. If you don't answer, how long before it considers redirecting that call, the ringtone for the call can be changed here as well. And you can select different ringtones for forwarded calls and delegated calls. And then here's where you can manage your voicemail. So if you want to record a custom greeting, you can select record a greeting and let it record your voice, or you can use a text to speech customization greeting option here and type in what you would like that greeting to say, and that will be read to the person when they go to your voicemail. There are some additional options here as far as managing when your voicemail will be displayed and how quickly they go to it. Those are additional options that you can configure at any time. To answer a call, you want to make sure that you are available to receive calls. So make sure your status is set to available. If it's in do not disturb, it will send your incoming calls to voicemail. When you receive a phone call, you'll be notified with a notification. You can select to answer the phone call or of course, decline it by selecting the red button instead. Now let's take a look at two additional Teams phone scenarios merging calls, and transferring devices. While you're on a call in Teams, you might receive a call from another person and decide you want to merge the new call and select more actions from the call controls and choose Merge Calls. Click the Merge button to confirm and both calls will be joined together. Now to transfer an active call between devices, for example, from a desktop to a mobile device or from a mobile device to a laptop, Simply launch the Teams app on the device you want to transfer to. You will automatically receive a prompt to join the call. Tap Join, choose the option for Transfer to this device, and you're done. This concludes the training on Microsoft Teams phone, but if you are interested in additional video training, Microsoft produces several videos at youtube.com at Microsoft Teams.